folks, Captain Mikey here in beautiful Florida. Guys, I am super excited about today. And I know I say that a lot, but today I am so excited for what I'm about to show you. You know, ever since I moved up to North Florida, I've been struggling a little bit. I am literally surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of small lakes that are absolutely loaded with giant bass. I know the fishing's phenomenal, but the reason I've been struggling is because access to these lakes and these ponds isn't very easy. Most of them have private residences. The only access to the lake is behind those residences. The other access points to those lakes, well, it's really shallow and a lot of weeds. Lots of lily pads, lots of grass, and stuff that extends out into the water quite a ways, making it near impossible to fish from shore. I have my bass boat, I have my John boat, but they're on trailers and a trailer requires a ramp of some sort to be able to launch that boat. And that's just not possible on a lot of these small lakes and ponds that I'm, I'm surrounded by. I had to think real hard, what can I do? What can I come up with? What options do I have to be able to access these body, bodies of water? Something that has the versatility and convenience of a kayak, but the stability, comfort, and ease of those boats. And I think I did it, guys. I, ca I found something that is an absolute game changer. It's gonna step my fishing and filming game up 100%. Absolutely amazing. I am so stoked to now finally have this tool in my arsenal and to be part of an amazing team. What did I find? Oh yeah, baby, it's a round boat. Ah, Stability on this thing, it's pretty darn good. Oh, she boogies along pretty good here. Get dizzy! Oh my God, I'm getting really dizzy. Whoa. You know, sitting in this little seat like this, I feel like Phil Dance, guys. Oh, I got fish. Oh. oh, look out, guys, we got one. Oh, that's enough to get, get you seasick right there. I love this thing. I, I'm so excited about this. I am incredibly excited about this. I haven't yet gotten on this craft here. You're gonna see a lot of lot of this, this vessel in my videos coming up, because it is an amazing tool for me. I can now access all those small areas that I couldn't access with my bigger boats. I don't have the, the necessary problems that do come with the kayak, of course. I throw the trolling motor on this, throw the battery in the little compartment, conveniently enough, out there, and I'm gone. I'm off to everywhere I can go, off to the races, off fishing. I mean, this is amazing. This is the tool I was absolutely looking for. Guys, this is the game changer. I just stepped it up 100%. My fishing, my filming, <laughs> to the moon, baby. Absolutely, this is amazing. Guys, this is called the Roundabout Watercraft. What a fantastic tool. I cannot, I am so excited to get out on this thing. It is a circular boat, a circular watercraft. This thing has all the ease of a kayak, but at the same time, it has the stability and platform of a boat. I mean, we're talking over 22 feet. 22 square feet of deck space on this thing. And look at all the storage compartments I got. I got a seat that sits right in the middle of this thing. I mean, this is incredible, absolutely incredible. I can transport it around. I can now pull up to these small bodies of water, find a little access, roll this thing on into the water, hook up my trolling motor, stole all my gear, sit on my seat and go. This is awesome. Look at it, it sits in the back of my truck perfectly. It was easy enough to roll it on up in there, throw a couple straps on it, just like you see here, and it's nice and stable, ready to go. I traveled down the road about three hours down the highway at 75 miles an hour, and it had no problems. It stayed right in place. Very easy to transport. All I'm gonna have to do now is unstrap it, roll it off the truck, and I can roll it on down to the lake. Really simple. All I gotta do is unstrap them, just pop them out, let that line loose, do the same on this side, just go ahead and pull it through. Those straps that just slipped right through the center, in the center is a hole where obviously your seat will post, but that's also a through hole, it goes all the way through, that's a drainage hole. All these lines, vertical and horizontal, they're drainage lines. All that excess water, if anything happens to come over, it should drain out right through the middle and out, out on the inside. Thank you. 
pull the straps off. I'll leave that these straps right here in the in the truck, ready to go for when I'm ready to transport it again. Easy, so easy. Now this craft does weigh about 110 pounds. It's not incredibly ultra light. However, that's not much more, if not the same, as most of your standard fishing kayaks. This isn't much heavier at all, uh, but it's just the shape and the design that's gonna make it so easy. To help myself out a little bit with uh, transportation, I did pick up this little fridge cart. If I got a longer distance to the water, I can't get as close to the water, this little folding up fridge cart is gonna help me transport it a little closer to the water so I don't have to roll it the whole way. They actually do make a couple other transportation options for it for these not everybody's got a pickup truck and they understand that it fits perfectly in my truck but maybe your truck's a little bit smaller or maybe you don't have one at all you got a car or an suv so they actually make a hitch carrier for this they plug right into your trailer hitch and the watercraft will roll up onto it really easy to use for anything else and they do make a trailer as well a trailer designed specifically for this roundabout uh, so you can trailer it down the road easy enough. I personally like the ease and the convenience of just rolling it up into my bed and that's probably the way I'm going to do it from here on in. We're just going to simply roll it down onto the ground. That's it. Easy enough. How easy is that? Back. One of the first steps I had to do, like any vessel, it does have a bit of a hole, so I had to put the drain plug in. Plug that drain plug in, hopefully keeps the water. If you do get any water in there when you pull it out, go ahead, pull the drain plug, it should drain right out. That would also be convenient if I want to turn any of these compartments into a live well. Aha, she floats! Got a couple convenient little cleats nylon cleats with brass inserts built into it so it's easy enough to be able to tie a line to it and pull it around once it's in the water and tie it onto the dock so I can load up look how easy that is can't get any easier than that well there she sits got our trolling motor all hooked up on the back here we got our seat in place nice and easy to get on and off the balance and stability far superior to any kayak or any other vessel that I've been in of this size. Well, yeah. wow. here we go. I'm on the roundabout. I got a 360 degree view of everything that I can do out here. I got a couple rods in my compartments, easy enough, super easy storage. I got some gear, some water. I'm gonna make one into like a cooler here. Up front. I've got all my tackle trays. They all fit perfectly in there. I got an assortment of other gear, pliers, scissors, things, all the things you're gonna need when you're out there on a day in the water. Very easy storage. And I still got a third compartment over here that hardly has anything in it. So I've got a bunch of gear, but I can bring a whole lot more. Very convenient. The 674 pound max capacity. Two person or 674. That's awesome. I'm very comfortable sitting in my seat here. I got easy, easy ability to be able to drive and steer. But when I want to, I can stand up and fish. The stability on this thing is pretty darn good. I'm not afraid of tipping. I've seen tests on this. 300 pound men standing up, jumping on the end, and it doesn't, it doesn't flip. Only one thing left to do, guys. Let's get on the water and see how it goes. Woo! Pick this out. Whoa! I'm literally going completely in a circle. I mean, and quickly too. I'm getting dizzy. Oh my God, I'm getting really dizzy. Whoa. I get dizzy. <laughs> oh. That's enough to get, get you seasick right there. This is awesome. She boogies along pretty good here. I've got a 55 pound thrust Minn Kota on here. The battery life on this should be pretty good for quite some time. I'm tracking along here pretty quickly actually. 
the, a lot of these small lakes that I'm going to be fishing, it shouldn't be hard to get around them at all. Because I've got so much extra storage, I'm actually probably going to bring a spare battery along just in case. Maybe put one up in the front, kind of balance that load out a little bit. The boat tracks awesome. It's got that bit of that V there. I'm literally, I'm not even holding on to it. I got both hands right here. I'm not holding on to that trolling motor. It's just keeping me in a perfectly straight line. It has those extra little uh, V grooves on the bottom of the on the bottom of this boat here. That's what's keeping it tracking in a perfect line. You would think for a circle like this, it'd be pretty tough to keep it in a straight line. But with those extra V grooves on the bottom, it really, really helps it out. The maneuverability of this is just fantastic, guys. Super easy to do as I crash into the dock. But as you can see, I was able to spin it around in circles. Easy to turn around. It moves along pretty good. I'm pretty impressed so far. This is awesome. Only one more thing to do out here right now, guys. Let's go see if we can catch some fish. The thing is, as you look around the boat, of course, I've got rod holders. In fact, there's actually four rod holders all the way around the boat. But also, you've got cup holders. Things that you can, you know, obviously keep your drinks in, keep an easy reach every which way you look along with all the storage. And of course, cup holders, you can keep your things like your pliers and whatever else in it. You can actually put an outboard on it, up to two and a half horsepower, um, which obviously is gonna be really, really fuel efficient, just a little thing. But honestly, with just this trolling motor, I move across these little lakes pretty darn quick. Really no problem at all. You know, sitting in this little seat like this, I feel like Bill Dance, guys. I feel like Bill Dance. Very comfortable sitting in this chair though. No problems whatsoever. Nice relaxing way to fish, that's for sure. So we got a fair amount of wind going on here today. Kind of pushing me into those weeds. I'm already up into these all these all these lily pads here. But it's only gonna take a simple turn. And I'm out. Look, look at that. A 360 turn. And I'm out of those weeds already. I am absolutely loving this thing so far. Loving it. It's definitely, definitely gonna improve, improve my game a whole lot. Love the fact that, you know, no matter what the wind's doing, no matter which way the boat starts spinning or whatever, I, I can just rotate in my seat and I've got the perfect vantage point every single time. It's just awesome. I am loving the versatility and how easy and maneuverable this this little roundabout is though you can literally literally 360 degrees on a dime the wind or the current or whatever it is pushes you away from your spot rather than having to do a big loop like you would to get back to that spot like you would with a traditional boat <laughs> i literally just flip the trolling mower to the side give it a little little bit of juice and i spin right around i'm facing that spot again unbelievable the maneuverability is top notch. Definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. Just doesn't seem to be any hungry bass at all. Oh, I got a fish. Oh. oh, look out guys, we got one. I had no idea. He grabbed that, woo. Here we go, we got our first, oh, he's gone. <sighs> well, say <laughs> <C> la vie. <clears throat> we actually had a fish. We had a just a small bass, but he took that fluke. So, well, that's a good sign. He took that right inside of those pads. And I've been working the edge, so I'll just keep working the pads. Let's see if we can't pull oh, another guys. one out of there. Out of, oh, no, I lost him. Oh, that was a good fish too. Damn it. Damn it. Back in these pads here. I started flipping and pitching. And oh, man. Man, that was a good fish too. Best fish I've seen in this lake so far. Well, found where they are. Deep in the lily pads.
Well, the bite has been extremely tough. We haven't done very well with that, but I am thoroughly impressed with the roundabout. Here I am standing up doing some flipping and some pitching back in some really heavy, heavy cover. No problem moving around the boat. No problem with stability. Getting this boat in and out of here, this would have been pretty tough to do uh, with anything larger. And of course with the kayak, well, you just don't have the, the kind of stability that you got with this. Really, to be able to fish the way I'm, I'm fishing right now, I don't think I'd want to be on anything else other than this roundabout right here. Fantastic boat. I'm very, very impressed. And I'm ex even though the, the fishing's slower today, <clears throat> I know that come the future, all these little lakes and all these little ponds that I'm surrounded, I'm standing on the absolute best tool that's out there for me right now. As far as a, rev as a review goes for this boat, I got to give this a solid 10 out of 10. I haven't found a downfall to this little boat yet, other than possibly, maybe, distance. Yeah, you're going to be limited, but for what I'm doing on these smaller lakes, this is all I need. I've got tons of storage. I've got mobility. I've got easy transportation. I've got easy access to unaccessible areas. I've got stability. You name it. This boat has got it all. I'm very impressed, very happy. I'm stoked for the future. Absolutely, incredibly stoked for the future with this thing. On what I'm gonna be able to do with this boat. I can't wait to get it out on other bodies of water now. Well, folks, the fishing wasn't quite where we hoped it would be today, but that's just the way it is in summer. It could be the weather, it could be the lake. All I know is with my roundabout, the possibilities are endless. All I gotta do is if I'm having bad luck on this lake, oh well, let's roll it on into the back of the truck and move on to another lake. There's lakes surrounding me everywhere, and now that I've got this amazing watercraft, I know I'm gonna be able to find success somewhere on some body of water. All those bodies of water that I just couldn't get to before, look out, sawgrass bass is coming. I love this boat, guys. Well, and the whole point of today was really, I just wanted to try it out. It's a brand new tool to me. I needed to figure it out, see how it worked, and see how much I really liked it. If it was, if it actually was everything that I thought it was gonna be, and it has proven to be that tenfold. I love this boat. I love the versatility. I love the stability. I love the mobility. And you name it, all the illities. This boat's got it. It's amazing, and it, I definitely know it's gonna enhance my game altogether 100%. Absolutely. I know I say it all the time, but I definitely mean it, and especially now, with this beautiful roundabout, the future is definitely bright. Well, guys, I really hope you did enjoy that. I hope you liked this, and I hope you learned a little something. If you did, make sure you smash the heck out of that like button. And leave a comment for me on anything else you'd like to see me film out here. I'll do my very best to make a video on each and every one of those. But most importantly, guys, subscribe to that channel. And if you're already subscribed, well, stay subscribed because there's plenty more coming in Sawgrass Bass's future. One last time, fishing from a circular round boat. It's Captain Mikey signing out. The future is bright. You keep those lines tight.